I know you guys heard about Ruben Foster towards ACL. He's out for the season. Now look, I've been watching football a long time. Long time. I even played football in the 80s and 90s. Guys in tear their ACL all day long in the 80s and 90s like they do in the 2000s and in 2019. It's ridiculous. So what I came up with was college coaches beat their players into the ground. You got football in the fall. You got football in the spring. You got weightlifting. You got meetings. You got more weightlifting. You got practices. You got more meetings. So if you beat somebody into the ground 12 months a year working on football and using the same muscles, eventually those muscles might get weak. Eventually those muscles might get torn. Now I'm no doctor, but come on, we have a lot of ACL injuries, a lot of knee injuries, a lot, just a lot of, a lot of torn ACLs. And then the food we eat today is not that much better. Everything's chemical, everything's uh, GMO. So even though we got better technology, better trainers, so-called better doctors, for one, the food is not that good, and you can't beat a person to death 12 months a year working, playing football. Guys, guys are tearing ACLs left and right. So I blame it on college coach. I blame it on college coaches. The way they just beat down players. Like I said, you got to do something other than play football. You just can't keep working on football, 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 12 months out of the year. Uh, injuries are going. I know injuries are part of the game, but I think it's too much wear and tear on the muscles and joints. That's why you're getting ACL injuries. This is Corner Sports Net.